events taking place in Buell Hill Park have led to Salford becoming a major tourist destination. Yeah, I know, unless you're a Salfordian and you've seen what's gone on, you might be going, sorry. Well, Lindsay Hebden is with me. She's the Tourism Marketing Manager at Salford City Council. Welcome to Channel M today. Okay. Non-Salfordians who are unaware of the changes that have gone on might be surprised to hear these statistics, but apparently 7.2 million visitors from across the globe came to Salford That's last correct. year. That's correct, yep. Yeah, 7% more than last year. That's an astonishing figure, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. So what are they coming to see? I mean, I mentioned Buell Hill Park, and there's stuff that goes on in there. What are they coming to see, all these people? There's a range of products, um, sort of leisure and tourism products in Salford. Obviously, the key attractions like the Lowry, who they're celebrating their 10th anniversary next April. Already 10 years. Yeah, they brought in more than 800,000 visitors last year, so it's hugely popular. Um, obviously, things like the advent of Media City is putting the um, Salford on the map. Um, bringing the BBC here. But more importantly, there's a range of hidden gems across Salford. Salford is a huge city. More than 60% of it is green space and countryside. I, you know, I don't think a lot of people knew that. I certainly didn't. I'm, I'm, I've lived in Salford for 16 years, but I'm not. I'm a, I'm a Yorkshire. See, I'm, I'm Salford brought up, not Salford born. I mean, the borough of Salford. Yes, that, yes. is where I grew up. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's for, for those on the outside, it's, it's uh, dark satanic mills and Lowry paintings, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, the Lowry, yeah. you think of the Lowry, and then you think of mills and industrial northern working town. But there's a, there is an awful lot of green in Salford, and there's loads there to is. do. There are absolutely loads to do. Um, what would you product. take a friend to do? If you had a friend coming to Salford for the weekend, what would you take them to do? All sorts of things. I, in fact, you know, my sister came um, with my niece and nephew last weekend. We did go to the Lowry, went to see um, a show at the Lowry, children's show. We went to the exhibition there. There's a great dance exhibition. Then we went down to the other side of the city to Clifton Country Park, which is a huge open park with a big lake. We've got a new um, little children's play area there. Um, fabulous. And then we went to Worsley and had something to eat at one of the restaurants there. We've got a number of restaurants. There's a couple of new restaurants opened up, foodie-type restaurants. It's Gavroche in Walkden and the Basin in Boothstown. So I do like my food and drink. Um, See, Salford, again, this is, this is your thing. It is the borough and the city of Salford we're talking about, which, it, which is not just the kind of Lowry Salford no, and Salford no, that, Keys that, that, and the, do the docks when I was a kid. You know. the, key, the Keys... It, the, it's a much bigger patch, it isn't it, is, Salford? absolutely. A lot of people think of Salford and they think of the Keys or they think of Worsley, and Worsley's part of Salford, and that's great. In terms of the heritage product that the city has got to offer um, from the industrial heritage through, we do a number of bo boat tours, um, walks, trails... Etc. There's loads to do, and more recently, we I don't know if you've heard of the Salford Music Map. Um, so we sort of music is great, big for the northwest, and obviously in, in Britain, people love music. I mean, again, outsiders will think of Salford Lads Club and that famous iconic Smiths picture. Uh, yeah, from but an, there's more in Salford. But than from that, an international pers perspective, Salford Lads Club really puts it on the map. We get a lot of people from Australia, from Japan. Salford Lads Club is the one thing. I remember when I was out in Asia, it wasn't... I thought it was Manchester United when I said where I was from. It wasn't. It was Salford Lads Club. It was the Smiths. And we've used music to kind of sell the city. Um, more recently, we've had, like, the Ting Tings, but previously it was Graham Nash and the Hollies to Ewan McCall, Tim Burgess, etc. There's a real eclectic product range there, and we've kind of packaged it to sell it to bring people to the city. And you clearly it's successful with all these people coming. Oh, how, do you, how do you calculate how they come? I mean, who's doing the head count and says 7.2 million are yeah. coming? Pa partnership working is at the heart of what we do. So we work alongside Marketing Manchester, the Northwest Development Agency, and there's an agritourism forum, which is where the 10 councils work together. And we, we have a, an economic activity model called STEAM, which stands for Scarborough Tourism Economic Activity Model. Scarborough? Yes, that's where it originated originally. But it measures, it kind of, we... we pull in all our figures from all our hotels, attractions, and put those in, and they, they sort of measure the value so of what people So it's, it's, it's reliable it's research, research, this. It's not, it's not, no, I mean, no, no, not absolutely. that you wouldn't want to big up doing, using your I own research, we've been but doing this is now for internationally recognised eight years, research. Yeah. yeah, and I've got some good comparative um, stats Where now next, then, for, for the Manchester's other city, because there's the city of Manchester and the city of Salford, we must always remember, when we talk about yeah. the city, there are two. Where next for Salford, do you think, where you want it to go next? Uh, events have been a big driver for us. We've um, firmly got an established events calendar now. You probably wear the Triathlon World Cup. Started off with the Commonwealth Games back in 2002, but we've had the Triathlon World Cup um, for many years, which has given us a big international profile. But we're kind of branching out into... We've, we've got the Food and Drink Festival... We made the world's biggest Eccles cake last year. Did you really? We did indeed. That we must have passed me by. I love yeah. Eccles cake. Yeah, well, that's in October. We'll be making a very big cupcake this year. Hopefully the world's biggest, but unfortunately... A last... cupcake? Yes. But last Sunday the USA made a very huge one, but... You know, we like a challenge. So and you've, you've got proms in the park soon as well, Proms in the park is on Saturday, yes. Da -da -da. Flag at hand, yes, it's on Saturday. We've more than 6,000 people coming. Christa Berg is headlining. 
Um, but there are still some tickets available. Only the a BBC few. Phil plays, up there. It is, the BBC yeah, Phil are playing. Oxford and it's Road a fabulous and moving event. Moving to Media City. Abs yeah. And hosted by my mate Heather Stott. Yes, she is. So, she is but, comparing. And she does a very good job and has a wonderful time doing it. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, more power to your elbow, Salford, because I think it's a, it's a tremendous part of Greater Manchester. It and, uh, is. Close to my heart. But yes, I'm, it I'm is. Glad I, to love, see it I love living more. there and working there. It's Terrific. Great. Nice to meet you, Lindsay. Thank you for that. Thank